vision. So, for those of you just joining us, Mickey is having a wet dream about how hot some princesses are. You were right, jerk. I bow to your wisdom. That's Mickey's wet dream. <laughs> yeah, get it? Because it involves Cause water. Yeah, you need your mama to do the boat. There's water under the I, boat. <laughs> I, I think that terrible pun was what solidified that I was going to include the sex dream running gag. Yep, yep, yep. And I, I was going to review Fantasmic, uh, yeah. whether or not you guys said yes to being involved. <laughs> But, uh, well, screw you too. <laughs> <laughs> but it certainly, I, I was much more excited to work on it with you guys involved. And I mean, obviously now we are the closest of friends. Ah, uh, yes. And I cherish both of your friendship quite, quite much. We've That's ripped in everything. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and at the time, like, I, I was kind of nervous about approaching you guys in the first place just because we hadn't had that many interactions and and and, uh, and you, you know me with all my social anxiety yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, but but you know i i was i was very much um, i love this photoshop <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, I i think i was you know i i hadn't been doing shows for that long at that time and i was i i, I really was like yes co-reviewing is part of what you do when you're in this community and i and um i i think you were one of the first people to asked me to do it you weren't the first to ask me to do it because i had a couple of people ask who it ended up being kind of non-starters because they weren't willing to do their half of the work but this one it's like well this guy does disney parks so yeah. um why not you know? yeah exactly you know just because a character says a line in the movie and it worked out quite nicely we regret to inform you that it is just far <laughs> <laughs> click hole <laughs> ah christopher walken this is another bit where uh, I wasn't sure if it worked with no the... No reference to esoteric for you, Dave. Yeah. Just... I, I, I wasn't sure if it worked with the wow, oh yes, added at the end. Because uh, this was but... right after the... Uh... This, this was right yeah. after I finished... It came out right after I finished the Blitz, Blitz Travaganza. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't... I knew people would remember that day's tonight. I wasn't sure if they'd remember wow, oh yes, but... Hey. I think um, I think I pitched the snakes on a plane joke. I, I may have. I think the, you did too. The, 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 although I, I regret that I didn't pitch Mickey fighting snakes yeah. on this Mon Monday to Friday brain. I'm I'm I think you pitched it. Yeah. Or or maybe not. I don't know. I you you nice. definitely said it has to be. If you didn't come up with it originally, you were definitely the one who said it has to be under footage of Frozone. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think this was shot at the same time that I shot the thing in front of Aladdin's Oasis at uh, in the Full House in the review, Full House review, where I'm talking about, um, you know, this is what fascinates me about Full House. Hmm. We talked earlier talking about uh, Scott Weiner. Yeah, that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Now, now, just thinking about all this animation here, <laughs> where where it's semi recycled animation at this point. Um, uh, that was another last minute addition because that was around the time I was really getting into Phineas and Ferb and, and not just casually appreciating it. There was a point where I considered like really trying to write a, like a real Freudian analysis of Mickey's dream, but that would have been fun. It, it would have been fun and like trying to get like Kyle or someone to do a cameo talking about it, but. It, well, we got a cameo from Kyle. We did, we later, did get a cameo but, from Kyle anyway. Uh, but under very different circumstances. And freaking Pat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to those. When, when, we'll get when, to when we get there. And uh, <laughs> there were a lot of things I considered. Like, I considered, like, trying to get a music reviewer to cameo analyzing the lyrics of the Phantasmic song. There were a lot of things I considered, or, like, doing stuff talking about the Japan version, the Tokyo version. A lot of stuff I just dropped because this was already just a huge project as it was and I didn't need to make it bigger uh, buffering yeah. no <laughs> here's one of the animal kingdom shots just my tripod on a the edge of a fountain I think <laughs> uh, right in front of the dragon ticket booth I love how it looks like the dragon's burning my hair <laughs> also that li that joke is fanfiction.net account which was already a dated joke at that point it probably yeah, should have been cares. deviant art page or Tumblr yeah, page or probably. something, but the 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 gist is still there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the, the dragon. This coming up is another 
that was like a very last minute pitch of yours. That at least she actually is the dragon. <laughs> Fake, yeah, man. because, because yeah. Of yeah. Now this is a shot that multiple people have thought was green screened. It's not. It's just a lockdown tripod, and I'm really backlit. And in the, the and in the outtakes, some kid starts fucking with you, really, and you just want to smack that kid. Yeah, but I had to keep my composure because I was the weirdo freak adult filming myself at Disney World. Yeah, <laughs> screw them. You, you were you, you let your freak flag fly. Yay! I'm pretty sure all I'm pretty sure all three of us have done the voice of Figment at some point or another. <laughs> oh, yes, the Absolutely. least shiny thing I can <laughs> fiddle with is something that grabs Con Guy's attention. And this was of course before Figment showed up in the Back to the Future and Shrek reviews that I did where Oh, that's right. right. I, 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 I I feel like I didn't quite set that up as much as maybe I should have for that show just because You'd covered him in, in this, this show. This was others. fun to put together, the laughing montage. And this effect was really, really accurate well to the... Uh, it really looks like the, the projector. It's it's just like... A, there's a clip from Press Start. We had Dr. Horrible earlier. I was doing mostly villains, but not exclusively villains. <laughs> um, it, but yeah, it's, it's just like a shit ton of filters thrown right. over it and changing different variables. And uh, God, the David Brent one works really well with the music. <laughs> like Like just the ominous music and everything is is maniacal laugh in here from the yeah maniacal laugh yeah, was, that, was that in there all the way the, and of course diamanda diamanda hagen. hagen uh i this i approached her at magfest 2013 to do this cameo i think she still doesn't know who i am but uh, <laughs> but but she knew both of you and and that was my in and, and she yeah. was she was very gracious with her time to Murphy. do that cameo and you know we we made a um we made a haunted mansion reference to don't let Murphy near the haunted mansion, but we didn't make a dragon named Murphy reference in reference to Milan, which would have oh seemed like yeah. would have seemed like the much more obvious reference to make, but we went for mansion instead. I guess we didn't think of the other one. Yeah, I remember seeing a couple of these shows where it was just Maleficent on a stick. <laughs> I I, uh, I actually saw one of those uh, in like the last. Have you tried the Maleficent on a stick at Disney? It's it so... is delicious. It's a little spicy. Right. A little I, uh, spicy. I saw a Maleficent on a stick uh, in the last couple of weeks before they closed the Rivers of America for Star Wars land construction. There was one day where I think it had been raining that day. Oh, so they didn't break out Murphy. They didn't break out Murphy. Mm, they they wow. put Maleficent on a stick. Um, but I distinctly remember seeing footage on YouTube of uh. Murphy being lowered, like raised and lowered into the ground during the day, and then I couldn't find that clip when I was editing this this video, and so I couldn't include it. But yeah, just a couple of months ago, yeah. I find pictures of like a broken necked Murphy. Send yeah. it off to Dave. He's like, "Damn it! Why didn't I have this earlier?" Yeah, th this was the kind of thing I was looking for. Oh we man, well, always I run into problems like that. Uh, you know. You, you, Literally two years, almost to the day after Kyle released the Beauty and the Beast review, I found online a picture of Walt Disney and Jean Cocteau pictured together oh at, my God. at some event somewhere. Yeah, back in like back in like the forties or something. It, it's like, well, I found this two years too late. It's like we we always talk about the curse of the next card when we're playing cards yeah. against humanity. It, 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 it this follows is the over version of that. <laughs> subtle Zelda reference there. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I, I don't know if we're if we're at the, you know, you kill me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize, but that was actually pitched by Kyle. That was pitched by Kyle. We, so. well, 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 we had some downtime when we were shooting the Beauty and the Beast review, and we told him about what you were doing, and he, and he pitched that exact joke. The, and, this video came out like a week or two after you shot the bulk yeah, of the Beauty yeah, and the yeah, Beast yeah. review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was oh, like, that's right. A, a, like, like a, a week or so after that year's VidCon, which is why there were a couple of very welcome last-minute cameos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Haley and upcoming celebration then... montage. Um, I guess the Mickey walk on water. Uh, yeah. Scenario. <laughs> I don't know how that would have worked here, though. Well, I I, I don't think they it, they were trying it for here. I think it was just it was only for Florida. It was only for Florida. Because they really do draw out that sequence in Florida where he's running around but, before but, stabbing But the her. thing is, what if he had slipped? What yeah. if the Mickey had slipped? It wouldn't exactly. have been... Exactly. It, it wouldn't have been quite so magical. 
I don't know what you're there talking about. Nobody's there ever slipped go. and fallen in Florida on Fantasmic. <laughs> <laughs> There's no footage oh, of Dopey boy. falling off a boat. <laughs> Especially That's in right. Florida. That was thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it in Florida? Yeah, it was. It, it was Florida. <laughs> Because, because there's he wouldn't have fallen off the Mark Twain. Yeah, because like that. cast no, or no, no, guests no, no. are allowed on the Mark Twain, yeah. so it's got to be safe for him. You've got a mountain. Got a mountain. <laughs> but I, that, well, I bet maybe that stunt wouldn't have been. Yeah. Now because they had that mountain, I think I read somewhere that it was originally supposed to be Chernabog and not Maleficent. Oh, really? Really? maybe remembering that wrong. That would have been I, interesting. It would have been yeah. like seeing like a massive Chernabog puppet with the wings actually flapping around i i completely believe that there were earlier more ambitious versions that were cut for oh here comes reasons. the cameo all right there's so there's kevin arthur knowledge, kevin, arthur knowledge. there's uh, zenith, zenith will rule mm-hmm. there's chris, chris the nerd. nerd a lot of these shot at magfest 2014 uh there's Animat. 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 very nice uh, Matt, Ionone. Matt Ionone. there are going to be some people here who i know mikey, and you. mikey, mikey who didn't tell me he was going to disney World. Uh, that's my buddy kevin from one wall cinema kyle, kyle, kyle was shot right before my, my sister right. lizzie <laughs> my and Matt, Matt, Pat. Pat. Matt Pat. There we go. Yep, uh, which you approached him at VidCon to do, to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd seen him, like, the day earlier. <laughs> There's call Nick. Back the widescreen calling, version of yeah. Spies Like Us. Call, call back, even though the Bliss Travaganza canonically takes place after this, who cares? Uh, there's uh, Jess and... And, uh, and so, former person so, that she'd rather forget. Yeah, okay, so Garrett and Morgan... I wrote this bit for them because... Yeah. because well, I'll talk about it after we're done naming people. <laughs> And there's uh, Casey, Casey and Casey. Uh, Jared coming right up. Yep. <laughs> and uh, slap. There's a lot That's of kissing nice. and slapping in this. Uh, and Haley. Uh, there's Haley. And uh, <laughs> the music here is uh, from season one of Community. And Fumpfest. Uh, including uh, Doctor uh, Demento. Okay, the, so the week before this came out was VidCon. The week before Vid and Zach, of and course. Zach. The week before VidCon was Fumpfest. And and I remember we had a group photo and app and r- as we're having the group photo I get a brainstorm and I'm like all right uh, uh, everyone just just ten seconds of everyone dancing and celebrating and of course Luke being Luke started singing it's a small world <laughs> yeah. fortunately we didn't have to use the audio but I'm just like god yeah. damn you all <laughs> but but yeah we got Doctor Domeno in that so uh, you're welcome yes and, and thank you and that was before I knew Luke uh, personally like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I was a fan of his but we weren't I, I hadn't, he hadn't met moved. him yet. To, yeah. the, to the West Coast yet. And that, that was another last minute, not not as last minute, but the uh, Neil Patrick Harris. I clip. really wanted to call attention to the to the key change because yeah. it's such an epic key change. And it occurred to me at, long after doing this that uh, a, a, a much more universally recognized clip would have been High Anxiety, where Mel Brooks just shouts, key change! You know? that, that's true, but the, the Neil Patrick Harris clip fits so thematically. Yeah. <laughs> It, um, it was and big Disney, fireworks yeah. demonstration, yeah. Uh, but I do want to mention, so Garrett and Morgan's cameo, I wrote them the bit about, uh, yeah, we were behind camera the whole time and you didn't include us, you asshole. I wrote that specifically because as little as I knew you guys, I, I had never interacted with Garrett or Morgan yet at this right. point. And again, now they're two of my dearest friends. Of uh, but at the time, I was like, okay... And I wrote that bit specifically because I was thinking they'll probably be there on the shooting day. Yeah. But I can't ask them to sacrifice. Like, I can't. I don't want to write anything that forces them to be there. Being there on a shooting day, this is literally the first day I met you. That's right. That's right. And. What was your family in? They were. We were on a cross country road trip anyway. Um, And and this is months later. (laughs) This is months months later later. when I'm in Florida. And and, uh, the the Splitsville bowling alley is still under construction. And it is currently being built here uh, where it House is. of Blues used to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It was so surreal last yeah. time we were there seeing, like, House of Blues completely gutted. Yeah. <laughs> so what were we talking about before we got to um, Oh, yeah. So Garrett and Morgan's bit was written specifically so that, like, okay, if they're not going to be there, we don't have to force them to be there. But if they're going to be there, I want to include them. So right. so that's what I wrote their cameo about. But, but we actually got um, kind of reprimanded by a <laughs> cast member on the Mark Twain because Morgan was saying assholes so loudly. Yeah. She has a tendency to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, we got recommended because she said uh, bullshit, bullshit or something in the, the Star Tours in the Star video. Tours review. So, yeah. Oh, and I pitched using this clip from the Complete Al of, you know, yeah. it's all happening in a dream. And I think this was before the Complete Al came out on DVD. It was. It was. It was before Shout Factory put it out. Yeah. So, it, so it's the YouTube version. Right. <laughs> um, 
But the 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 bits where we're uh, shooting months apart, where we shot when Charlie was in Florida and when you were in Florida, uh, I I made sure to wear the same shirt on both days, and I tried to get a haircut like an, the right amount of time before you were showing up that my hair would be kind of the same ish mm -hmm. length. Uh, who cares? I wasn't wearing the same shirt. <laughs> yeah, but you can change a shirt. Yeah. Those were dirt. Those were at my trailer. I no, didn't no, want to no. go back. No, I, I mean, you can justify a character changing a shirt. That's true. In, especially if they're hopping all over the place. I'm not the one with magical properties, so my hair shouldn't be changing. Yeah, and speaking of Star Tours, this is yeah. a very similar bit to Star Tours. Yes. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> gasping and reacting. That's the only difference. Yeah. <laughs> You're in jail. And this was in the original private message thread. This yeah. was one of the things you brought this is, up. This is one of the things I really wanted to say because I got in a huge argument. I, I, before I even started doing my show, I would frequent these Disney forums. And I once got into a huge argument over whether the California or Florida one was better. And I, I, I was like, look. I will. I enjoy it more when I don't. When my feet don't hurt. We also. I'm sorry. It's just I. I. It, it, the 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 seating enhances the experience for me, so I will always consider the Florida one better. Call it superficial if you want. And this was this was our Hollywood Studios shooting day. While yes, you were, yes, yes, yes. Well, when we were shooting for Epcot and yeah. ABC stuff. And and that was moments before the show started. I think I think in yeah, the for real. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like the light because people kept walking past us. Yeah. In in flagrant disregard for the fact that we had a camera on a tripod set up, and. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, but but yeah, it, it, and li literally like as soon as we finish the last take, like the lights go down and it, yeah. it, we make it just in the nick of time. <laughs> and uh, and we're coming up on even more months later uh, when I visited yep. you guys before I moved here when I visited out here in 2013. And I uh, always, I, 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 I love my face yeah. right here. I know it's bad form to think something you do. Just the psychotic look. Uh -huh. But it works uh -huh. very well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was on. It was yeah, you like your face here. I don't like my face here because I have an unsightly bit of zit on my upper lip right yeah. There. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, it's like a mini Hitler mustache. It is. Th this is another one where you guys just went for so long. You know what? And, and I, never are, yeah. I never noticed that. I never noticed the zit. So <laughs> there are several takes of you Look, guys. You notice just your going so you, long. you notice your face. I notice my face. Yeah. And um, I'm glad we were we were able to get one shot of all three of us yes. in shot. Although although I do wish that we were actually dragging you here. And and but I I guess that would have yeah. been. Whatever. <laughs> and, and this was basically here just to justify all the <laughs> jokes that were outdated <laughs> at, at the time. And I decided to review yeah. Universal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you got mad at Disney. And yeah. Then and you the, decided and to review because Universal. Because this was because this was released after you had aired uh, after you had released the, all of the, season two. Exactly. Which ended with the cliffhanger where I exile myself from Disney and yeah. tease that I'm going to review Universal. So I, I guess the conceit is that this took place before, but really, yeah. who cares? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. who cares about the inner? Because you have the bit with Mick and the yeah. widescreen copy of N none of it nothing makes any makes sense. Any yeah. sense. No, it, uh, okay, this bit, this was always the ending of the episode from your earliest, earliest drafts. But until I finally saw it, I didn't piece that it was a new heart parody. Ah, uh, gotcha. It just, I, I just read it as you know, oh, Mickey's waking up from his dream. Okay, but I. I guess I wasn't familiar enough with New Heart to yeah. recognize that it was like word for word a parody yeah. of, of of the famous well, ending of New Heart. I always knew I wanted to do the New Heart spoof. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think, but before I completely completed a draft, I knew it would be the ending of the script. But I yeah. think early on, I just thought it would be a cutaway. <laughs> but of course, it's the only way to. Yeah, to you, 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 you got to end it. It's 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 or you got to end with it yeah. rather. And and that's me doing the voices of both <laughs> Mickey and Minnie, so I'm basically Walt. <laughs> yep, that's all it takes. <laughs> and you can, credits. You can change your name to Wayne Wayne Allwine and marry yourself. <laughs> there you go. And then die. And but, uh, <laughs> I just like the Fantasmic music so much that I was like, I'm not even going to yeah, use yeah. A, a joke song here. I'm just going to use the actual credits music. Y'all. And what were we talking about before our cameos showed up? I feel like I was halfway through something. Probably something. 
what, hap- what happens before that? Villains? Uh, no, oh, no, you shoot no, me you, in a dream. You better wake up and apologize. No, no, I don't remember. There's, cares? there's. <laughs> You'll remember literally as soon as we're done recording. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Tell me about it, and I'll add it in annotation. <laughs> Explain. Sure, <laughs> <mind. laughs> uh, look at all the blip. <laughs> the all the blip URLs. URLs. Except for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he jumped ship early. <laughs> well, well, he knew what he was doing ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that's all the acts that were at Fump Fest that year. Garden Fresh is in there, and Luke of course, and Insane Ian, and uh, oh, the, the, the who's who of the of the Fump comedy music world there. Yep. So I, so I am still... You got still... Brie Larson? To... Oh. Yes. <laughs> so I am still very proud of this review. As well you should be. I... I, I... Love the way it come. I love the way it came together. I feel like it really does feel like a collaboration between the three of us. It's you see some crossovers, and it's clearly one person. One person's doing all the heavy lifting. Yeah, and it, it's clearly one person's style with the other person just as like a garnish. And uh, I really tried to incorporate your guys's uh, styles and input as much as I could, and uh, I. I I feel like this is something that would satisfy, like, any one of our fan bases insofar as we have fan bases separate from each other. <laughs> Which we really don't, yeah. for the most part. There, there's, well, yeah, yours there, is a little bigger more, than the rest of There's more ours. crossover than there is exclusivity, I yeah. think. But, um, but yeah, it's um, I, it definitely one of the best crossovers I've ever been involved in. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, just... It, it's it's good. That's my book report on it. Is it, it is good. I like the part where the thing happened. Yeah, it was good. I liked the, the things and and then the things. But uh, on a more serious note, I don't know when it's coming up. It's probably yeah, right there. Yeah. You did not have to do that. You really didn't. Because this this was right after he had passed away too. That's my father. I I felt weird not doing it. Just like it it was so fresh and so. Oh, it, Raw, trust me, it's appreciated. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, like, at a loss for words that you did it. You, you didn't have to, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's and, end on. And uh, one little cold tag, which I improvised and which yes. you plus. And... Which, which, which I, and this was shot by my dad when he was, uh, he flew down. When I, when I moved away from Florida, he flew down and we drove north together. And uh, <laughs> we did one night at Downtown Disney while he was in town. And uh, that's the downtown disney gift shop where i uh the world of disney uh, yeah yeah the, the world of disney gift shop at downtown disney where i also shot my contribution to the uh talk like a pirate day call it what you like oh, video, oh, which, yeah. which was shot when you were also shot when you were in town because you held you held camera for that and uh that's right i shot some other stuff at the gift shop, but it's just that when great are you gonna release that great that little pirate cool. oh it's already out it's on oh, my it it's on my vidme page oh so okay. uh, because okay. yeah. youtube doesn't like that yeah. song oh, <laughs> vid.me right. slash rbg prods plug okay, okay. Ah, there's only two balance. videos up maybe more will follow who knows well we're still talking <laughs> we <laughs> are we are well, thank you all for listening to us blather about this thing we made a long time ago and started making an even longer time ago than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and until next time. Oh, now I remember what I was going to talk about. <laughs> it was the... <laughs>